Hey gentlemen, this is episode 75, The Daily Bespoke Edge. And today I thought, as I was looking for a new topic, I was kind of rummaging through my closet and I was thinking, we haven't talked about belts very much. And specifically, you know, I know a lot of you guys are kind of interested in the kinds of things that I own. And in previous episodes, we went over my cufflinks, uh, my tie bars, my lapel flower, obviously my pocket squares. And so I thought, let's do belts. Let's kind of go over you know, the different belts that I own and why. Kind of hoping to give you a little idea uh, for yourself, obviously, if you go out shopping or you're trying to maybe be a minimalist and only stick to a couple belts, you know, what are the, the key ones that you can use that are the most versatile? So let's take a quick look. All right, guys, so as you can see, I'm not too, too crazy on belts. Uh, at least I don't think so. But let's kind of go through each one here and I'll give you an idea of you know what the purpose is and hopefully off of that you can make a decision if it's something that you know if it's a, a box that you need to check for your own uh, wardrobe and needs. So first up since it's summertime we'll kind of start with the, the super casual summer belt. Uh, this is kind of new. I don't use this very often to be honest because I don't like this kind of buckle. Um, it reminds me of being a kid to be honest. But once it's on and you get it just right, it looks pretty cool, especially with a pair of shorts. Um, it can be a really fun look. And again, the white and the blue is just very nautical, really fun. But I don't use this a whole lot. And I don't like the, the feel, honestly. I think it's just it's, it's too flimsy for a belt. I know it's kind of a personal thing, but I just don't get a lot of use out of this one. However, I still keep it thinking that, you know, the, the perfect summer application uh, sipping iced coffee on a patio, for instance, will call out to me, and I'll reach for this. Going down the line, I have a brown belt that... This matches a, a specific pair of shoes that I own, and that's why I have it. And admittedly, this is kind of, in a lot of ways, more of a Colorado look. It's a little bit of a, a western feel to it, with the, uh, the stitching here, and even the color of leather just being a real light leather, I think. And a relatively big, uh, big buckle here. But this is one that could be a little um, bit of a niche use for you. Maybe it doesn't look like this for your own purposes, but maybe you have one that is still kind of a dressy belt that you can wear now and again. It's not your go-to brown necessarily, but there's something that is kind of your unique application. So for me, that's kind of what this belt is. Now my workhorse here is my good old standard brown belt that I've had for many, many years. In some ways, maybe I've had it too long. It's, it's shown a lot of wear on the, uh, the tail end here. It doesn't even lay flat. It, it's permanently curved just from being around my waist for so long. But this is my, my go-to for jeans. And you know, pretty much every casual application is when I, I reach for this guy. Uh, I think all of us have a go-to brown belt, and this is mine. Okay, coming down to the wire here, uh, one last belt that's sort of a niche, kind of like that, uh, that brown one I showed you. This again tends to match, a, uh, actually really perfectly it matches a pair of suede, a kind of an olive pair of shoes that I own. And with this contrast stitching, it's just a really cool belt. Um, again, I don't get to wear it a whole lot. Sometimes I'll kind of swap it in there when I'm wearing um, sort of a brown pair of shoes, but still close enough that it matches this. Because remember, the cardinal rule is that your belt should match pretty darn close to your shoes. Um, break that rule uh, carefully. Um, so this is kind of my, my go-to with those specific shoes. And again, this could look different for you, but this is just a, a good reminder that whatever shoes you have in your closet, uh, be in leather, they should certainly have a belt that is very close, if not the exact type of um, matching leather. And last, of course, is the quintessential black belt. Uh, this is real dressy. It's relatively narrow, but not too narrow. Very simple, not a lot going on. This is a Hugo Boss belt I've had for many, many years. And I think, you know, for most men, there's always an opportunity and a need to wear just a quintessential black belt. Nothing crazy, nothing distracting, super simple and classic, and very clean looking, and that's what this is for me. So that's what's in my closet, guys. I, well, I should probably keep something on the 
I'm not good enough with the phone here yet, guys, to be able to spin it around on myself. It'll make you guys dizzy. But the, uh, the intention here is to kind of give you something to go on if you're picking out your own belts and to know what I have in my own closet and why. So I hope that helped. Let me know, do you guys have anything that's specifically uh, kind of unique or, or wild in your closet uh, regarding belts or how do you go about uh, maybe trimming them down to say the top three? I think that'd be kind of a cool question. If you have only three belts, uh, what are they? I'd love to hear about it. Okay guys, thanks for your attention. We'll see you soon.